Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. My name is Tori Solis, and today I'm doing a series review. Uh, looking over the work I made with these Texas wildflower mugs using slip painted onto Bee Mix. This is Laguna Bee Mix with Grog thrown on the wheel, and then painted with Mason Stain colored slips that were also of a Bee Mix but without Grog. So, start over here with the ones I like the best and then just kind of work our way down. The unglazed ones I think came out the best. This series was inspired by the Texas wildflowers. If you've ever come to Texas, we have blue bonnets, paintbrushes, fire wheels, little yellow things. And when you're driving home on the side of the road, they just look really, really incredible. Up close, they're very nice. And then like they fill fields kind of like this texture here. And they just create this blanket effect, especially if I'm not wearing my glasses and everything just gets kind of soft. The only thing I didn't love was that my greens are a little darker than I would have hoped for. The turquoise for the sky came out nice and these unglazed ones feel really great to hold. I did sand them over with a diamond sanding pad so that they would be extra soft on the inside. I glazed some of them with white and then I ran out of white so I just used like a floating root heel on some of the other ones. For the glazed ones, I didn't like these as much. I feel like the glaze made all the colors a lot darker. I did my Hanson 5x5 five five, and they just got a little bit darker than I would have liked. The, the green was already really dark and then when it got glazed it was just a little too much. It's very rich. The nice rainbow here testing out all the slips. And then there's that same, this one but glazed. I prefer the unglazed, but you know, results will vary. Here we have some di just some different perspectives of zooming in and zooming out on these flowers. This one has a very full, full bloom, all of the different varieties together. For this one, I did differently. This isn't slip painted. This one, I left the, the mug all just plain and I painted it over with Mako stroking coats and it has a little bit of a different effect that could still be improved on, but it's pretty interesting. It's a lot more like watercolor, <laughs> where this is more like acrylic, which is kind of what I was uh, going for in general, was the more acrylic textured look. So this is nice too, it was a good experiment. And then I made two river mugs with a bee mix just to see. This is kind of a green on green, kind of jungly with the red flowers. And then this one is that orange and yellow with the river. And that's this series. I'd say it turned out pretty great. The only thing I would prefer is if I had a lighter green, so I'm gonna keep testing greens, order a few more different uh, stains, to see if I can come up with something I like better, and hopefully improve upon these in the future to get them exactly how I'm trying to get them. If you like any of these mugs, you can check out my website to see if they're still available. By the time this comes out on YouTube, they might all be gone. So if you'd like to get first access to all my ceramics, Consider supporting my channel at patreon.com slash bluenosetrading. Patrons get first access to all of my videos and to all of my work. So if you're watching an early access video on Patreon and you see something that you like, just send me a message and if it's still available, I can pull it to the side for you. If you'd like to stick around and see a weekly art video, be sure to subscribe to this channel, Blue Nose Trading. Remember that you are super important and you have great ideas. Slow down this week and take time to notice some flowers and to check out what the birds are doing. And I'll see you guys next week.